Good morning guys. Today is a really exciting day. One of my best mates is getting married. I'm going to take you along for the journey. I'm going to try and vlog everything I can there and show you throughout the whole day as long as the battery stays on the GoPro. We shall see. Hope you enjoy it. Let's get into it. Should we go for the pink? I'm feeling the pink today. Pink, pink. I think we're ready to wear that today. But first, I need to get some stuff from town. So let's go. So let's take you for a little drive through my village where I live in, which is absolutely beautiful. I think I wouldn't want to live anywhere else. Nice little country lanes, you get to wave to people, everyone knows each other. Plenty of big houses around here as well. Three new big houses down there. So just arrived at Tesco's and the heavens have opened. It is lashing it down, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope, especially for my mate's sake, that it's not going to piss down all day. Even if it does, we're still going to have a good time. So I finished at Tesco's, got what I needed, a wedding card, obviously, more importantly, plenty of vodka. That's what we need. So the best thing about living in the countryside is getting stuck behind a tractor. Uh, boring. Right, looks like we're going to be going about mm, 30 mile an hour all the way home now. Only one thing to do. Eat who knows. Okay, so today I am going to be performing magic as well at my mate's wedding. So I'm going to go through what I'm going to take with me with all you guys and show you why I carry it as well. So first of all, let's have a look at a deck to use today. Now, I like to use a deck with something that kind of resembles what I'm going to. I'm going to a wedding, so I want quite a high-end deck. And the colours I've got is pink and purple kind of colour. However, I haven't got a pink or purple deck. But I did just have some new cards just arrive. And I reckon today the perfect deck would be the Red Knights from Illusionist. Let me know what you think. Okay, so we've got the Red Knights sorted already as a normal deck. I'm also going to take a normal deck of Blue Bicycle cards. Now, they're just going to go in my trouser pocket. Now, let's have a look at what else I'm going to take. I'm going to take Invisible Deck. Now, that is going to go in my front right pocket. And I've got a rough and smooth deck as well, which is going to go in my front left pocket of my blazer. Now on my waistcoat I've got these little side pockets, nice and ideal. I'm going to take some gas cards, we've gone through them in a previous video, and some double backers and place them in there. And on the other waist pocket I'm just going to fill that up with some duplicate cards, just in case for any kind of mentalism trips or anything really come in great use. We now have some invisible thread loops, they're going to be wrapped around my hand. We have some lottery tickets which will turn into cash and they will be in my front left pocket because that is one of the tricks I use all the time. Just down the side here I've got a little smaller pocket as well. We're going to take two sharpies, one of them is gimmicked we're also going to take a tiny plunger, which is a great routine, which I might go through one day. Not teach it, just go through it. If you don't, if you don't know what it is, check out Penn and Teller's um, tiny plunger. I forgot who performed it, but it's brilliant. Um, they're just some more gap cards, so you see the two there. Put the red in between, and then simple enough to get rid of them. So they're going to go in that front side pocket as well. Lots of elastic bands, some broken, some different colour ones. They are going to go in the other top inside pocket of my blazer. 
also with a lottery prediction. If you don't know what cipher is, check cipher out, that's gonna be in there. And also a mini Rubik's Cube, and that can go in there. So that just leaves one empty pocket, which will be the vodka. Okay, so I've got everything ready now. All that's left to do is get myself ready. Let's check it out. So I'm about ready now, as you can see. Sun's come out, clear blue sky. Got about half an hour to kill. I'm just gonna chill out, relax, just wait to get picked up. Forgot to mention one other trick though that I'll be bringing today, which is Sucker Punch. Now, for those of you that don't know Sucker Punch, it's a visual color change of poker chips. You can make it go red or blue, however many times you want. I think it's a fantastic trick, which has lots of routines.